curtain of darkness hangs over the coast of Britain. The dark shadow of ships flash their signals to the shore. As dawn breaks, Pathé Gazette's cameraman is on a tiny merchant ship. He is risking his life to bring you the pictures. He is on his way to Dunkirk. Every few seconds he sees other ships returning, ships of all shapes and sizes, manned by sailors and merchantmen of Britain. Wireless operators are at their posts. Each ship is filled with the men of the BEF and of the French army in Flanders. They are on their way home, home from the hell that is Dunkirk. Since these pictures were taken, we have all heard the full story from the Prime Minister of how the Royal Navy, using nearly a thousand ships, has brought back nearly 350,000 men. Now you are off burning Dunkirk. Now you are to see that evacuation in progress. You will see the Navy in action, Nazi planes overhead. You will see the beaches of Dunkirk under enemy fire, our own guns replying. You will see the calm waters dotted with hundreds of men as they wade or swim out to the ships. Here in pictures is the triumph that turned a major military disaster into a miracle of deliverance. Here in one staggering shot, the Allied armies come out from the shore. That one amazing picture symbolizes the miracle of deliverance, which in the words of the Prime Minister was achieved by valor, by perseverance, by perfect discipline, by skill and by unconquerable vitality. All the might of the German Air Force failed to stop them. We beat them back. We got our armies away. And the enemy paid fourfold for our losses. And now we're on our way home. The ships are gliding into a British port. The men of the BEF are stepping once again onto British soil. The men who were carried out of the jaws of death. For a time also we are playing host to thousands of French soldiers. Let us show them how we feel about the way they fought side by side with us. But the greatest tribute must go to the men of the rear guard. Their job was to fight on until the evacuation was almost complete. They have suffered terribly. They have left behind thousands of dead. They fought their last battle from the water's edge before they dived in and swam out to the ships. Most of them are very dirty and pretty ragged, but they're unshaken and not a bit shy. And now we look to the future. The BEF will be rebuilt under its brilliant commander, Lord Gort. We shall go on to the end. We shall not fail. We shall fight on the seas and on the oceans. We shall fight in the air. We shall fight on the beaches, in the fields, in the streets and on the hills, as we fought in blazing Dunkirk. And like the men who smashed their way out from the hellish beaches of Flanders, we shall never surrender. <laughs>